Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Porky Pig. Let's get started in the center of our page with his nose. So we start on the left side, we draw a curve. It comes down and then back up on the right side. Now from the sides we're going to curve up and then in towards the center point. So let's start on the left. We're going to go up and in towards the middle. Now from the top we're going to curve out and then down towards the right side. Let's add in the nostrils. On the left side, we're going to add a small angled oval. Starting from the top, we're just going to curve around towards the bottom. I'm going to fill that in black. And we're going to go in the opposite direction on the right side. Now let's move down and draw in the mouth. From the bottom corner of the nose, we're going to step out. I'm going to curve down in the middle, underneath the nose, and then back up on the right side. Let's add in the cheeks. So from the left side, we're going to step in curve down over that line and then back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving down over the line and then out. Now let's draw the lower part of the mouth. From the top of the mouth on the left, we're going to step out and we're going to curve down a little bit lower in the middle and we're going to pull that back up on the right side. Now in the center, we're going to add the tongue. So on the left side, we're going to curve up in the middle and then back down on the right. Now we're going to add the chin. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve down a little bit lower in the middle, just underneath the mouth, and then back up on the right side. Now let's move back up and draw in the eyes. In line with the top of the nose, we're going to step out towards the left, we're going to draw a curve. Going up, and then down, leaving a little space on the inside. And do the same thing on the right. Now from the inside of the eyelid, we're going to curve in and then out. Let's start on the left side, we're going to curve this in round up the eye and then pull that back out. Do the same thing on the right, curving in and then out. Now let's draw on the outside of the eye. We're gonna create a little overlap on the top. So I'm gonna step in, curve over that line, going out towards the outside of the eye. Now we're just gonna pull that in. I'm gonna leave a little overlap on the end here. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, curve over that line, round up the eye and then pull that back in. Now we're going to push the pupils towards the inside corner. So right down here we're going to draw a half oval. We're going to curve up towards the top and then back down. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the corner we're going to curve up and then hook that back down. We're going to fill the pupils in black. Now from the outside corner of the eyelid we're going to step out. We're going to curve out the cheek and then pull that in underneath the chin. So let's start out here. Round out the cheek, and we're going to come down and then in, leaving a little overlap along the side. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping out from the eye, curve out, round out the cheek, and then pulling that in. Now let's move up and draw on the head. So it's almost like a large circle. So we start at the top of the cheek, we're going to start by curving out, rounding out the head, and I'm going to bring this up towards the top, rounding out the top of the head. Now we're going to bring this down towards the right side, on top of the cheek, on the right. Now let's give him some eyebrows. Just above the left eye, we're going to step up, we're going to curve up, and we're going to hook that back down. Let's go and flip that over on the right side. Lining this up, curve up, and then hooking that down. On either side of the head, let's add in the ears. So starting on the left side, we're going to curve this up, and then out. Line this up on the right and do the same thing, going up and then out. Let's curl around the tip of the ear. I'm just going to hook that back in. Now on the left side, I want to come down and then in behind the head. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's add that little curve on the inside of the ear. From this point, I'm going to step in, curve in, and then down behind the head. Now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with the bow tie first, just underneath the chin. So on either side, we're going to draw two short lines coming down. Now let's close off the bottom with a curve. Now from the left corner, I'm going to curve down and then out. Go to the right corner and curve down and then out. Now I'm going to round out the side of the bow tie. Starting from the left, we're going to curve out and then in underneath the chin. Now underneath the bow tie on either side, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom of the jacket. So start 
start on the left, we'll come down to about there. And do the same thing on the right. Let's round out the bottom of the jacket. Starting on the left, we go out and curve this up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna go up and then pull this in towards the side of the bow tie. So we're gonna leave a little bit of a space on the side here. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna fold the arms in behind the body. So from this point in the body, we're gonna step up underneath the cheek, curve out, round up the elbow, and now we're gonna pull this in just higher than the bottom corner of the jacket. Let's do the same thing on the right. From this point, we'll step up, curve out, round up the elbow, and then pull that in. Let's continue working down with the body. From the bottom corner of the jacket, I'm gonna step in, curve down, and then in with a short line. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw on the outside of the leg. From the top of the body, we're gonna step down, curve out the knee, and then again, we're just gonna pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving out, and then in. Let's step back towards the middle and draw on the lower torso. So start on the left side here, we're gonna curve up in the middle, and then back down on the right side. Now we're gonna leave a gap in between the legs. So we're gonna start on the left side, we're gonna curve in, round out the heel, and then curve this back out. Let's do the same thing on the right, going in the opposite direction, curving in, and then back out. Now I'm gonna round out the toe and then pull that in behind the leg. Round this out, and pull that back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Rounding out the toe, and then pulling that in. We wanna create a little overlap on the outside. Now the last thing we're gonna do on the left side here, on the outside of the foot, we're gonna curve down, and then back up towards the inside of the leg. We're gonna fill that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the inside, curve down, and then up. And we'll fill the toes in black. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Porky Pig. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.